70 New York City Public Housing Authority employees charged in the largest single-day robbery takedown in the history of the Department of Justice. The allegations involved nearly one-third of NYCHA's 2,400 buildings in New York City, a huge breach of trust. The workers accused of taking $2 million in kickbacks from contractors. The U.S. Attorney's Office calls it a classic pay-to-play scheme. Eyewitness News reporter Kimberly Richardson live outside federal court in Lower Manhattan where we expect the suspects to appear. Kimberly? And yes, Sandra, right now, the defendants at the center of the sweeping takedown, they're upstairs facing judges in seven different courtrooms. Those alleged payoffs, 500 here, 2,000 there, doesn't sound like much, but over time adds up. One retired super who once worked at a complex, a NYCHA complex in Brooklyn, she allegedly took $15,000 in bribes, calling all of this, quote, her side hustle. There are nearly 100 dots on this on this. Uh... By the way, this is my first uh, reaction video to uh, bribery scandals and stuff. So I apologize for any poor quality. Yeah. I'm using a, a Microsoft Clip Clip Chimp. All right. So let's get uh, let's cut to the chase. Huh? So basically, this is the biggest uh, corruption scandal, uh, like in terms of the the number of people getting arrested. I don't think it's the biggest in terms of uh, how much money, but uh, yes, yeah, 70 people uh, um, have been uh, uh, arrested and charged, and um, the total uh, the total um, uh, money was uh, around two million. Yeah, so two million doesn't sound much, but uh, apparently 70 people have been involved in this uh, NYCHA, um New York City housing um, project uh, in this uh, pay-to-play um, corruption scandal. Mm. So basically, the the employees at NYCHA, uh, they have forced the contractors to do uh, to give them kickbacks uh, on all these uh, projects, or else they don't um, uh, hand them these uh, um, contracts to fix the uh, these uh, government uh, uh, housing and stuff. Yeah, that's uh, <laughs> that's pretty crazy. And uh, the way the news reporter broke uh, uh, break it down was. Uh, she said uh, one of the ladies said uh, she accepted up to $50,000 in this uh, corruption scandal. And that's one of her side hustles. <laughs> well, I, I, I guess it is a side hustle, but it's not it's not a legit side hustle, lady. <laughs> Man, that is crazy. Right here. U.S. Attorney Damian Williams says represents NYCHA complexes in the five boroughs. There are 335 where classic pay-to-play schemes were the norm. Officials maintain these current and former employees allegedly used their jobs to line their pockets with money through backdoor deals. Here at the Wald Houses in the East Village, Assistant Super Danny Muniz allegedly took home 3000 in cash. Lillian has lived here for nearly five decades. There's a lot of things that's going on and they don't care. The alleged activity dates back to 2013, but this morning their house of cards came crashing down. Law enforcement arrested 66 people in six states. A total of 70 are named in the complaint. Authorities maintain the defendants use their power as supers and assistant supers to exploit the no-bid process or so-called micro-purchases for jobs under $10,000, things like plumbing and window repairs. But according to court documents, before a contractor could get the job or be paid for doing the work, they would have to give that NYCHA employee a cut. And many contractors paid these bribes because if they didn't, the defendants would give these jobs to someone else. All right, so uh, basically what the DA or the uh, prosecutor is saying is uh, basically uh, if they don't give uh, these bribes to the uh, employee, uh, these uh, NYCHA employees going to give the contract to somebody else. Um, I mean, corruption happens on every level of government, but uh, these guys are so brazen, you know. Most of these uh, kickbacks are done like through uh, gifts and stuff, or like taking out, taking them out to um, golfing or vacation. But uh, these NYCHA employees are just uh, very brazen and bold. You know, you cannot accept uh, cash or any type of money as a as a kickback. You know, 
I've heard kickbacks on like all kinds of uh uh all kinds of levels of government, like anywhere from HOA, you know how um HOA board members uh with uh I mean contractors would give HOA members kickbacks, but I I don't think they get cash, you know. Yeah. It's basically like gifts or free work or something like that. But uh yeah, man, these guys are very brazen. Uh, I'm pretty sure corruption happens every day, but it's just uh, people don't get caught. But <laughs> yeah, this has been going on for years, you know, like 10 years. Um, so 70 people have been arrested. So we'll see what's going to happen to them, huh? So what do you guys think about this scandal? Is it surprising or you think it's been, uh, or why does it take so long uh, for this to be uh, um, um investigated and um uh, brought to light yeah it's been going on for 10 years uh yeah man uh nyc it seems like uh they've been facing a lot of corruption scandals lately shout out to my dude hannibal is hungry he's been doing some uh, corruption scandals and stuff and um by the way i apologize for the poor quality of this uh first ever reaction video guys and i am working on my editing skills and uh reaction videos but yeah if you find value in this uh, sort of content please give your boy a like subscribe make sure to ring that bell that way you don't miss our new videos yeah that's gonna do it for today fam uh yeah we're gonna do some more um some more like corruption uh scandals uh what do you call that uh crypto scams uh kind of like coffeezilla yeah coffeezilla is my idol man he's uh He's the best at it. Uh, and Scott Schaefer. Yeah, but shout out to my dude. Uh, Hannibal is hungry. Yeah, he's been killing it with these uh, corruption scandals. That's going to do it for today, fam. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. All right, one more thing before we go. I just want to put in uh, another one minute of uh, my content. That way I don't get hit with the um, uh, not using fair use uh, for reaction videos. So. Yeah, man, in a, maybe a, in a year or two, uh, when I do more like uh, side hustle content, uh, lots of mini documentary with voiceovers. Yeah, that is something I'm really interested in doing. Yeah. Mini documentary with voiceovers. Um, maybe next week I'm going to do some, uh, some uh, Denver migrants uh, deep dive, something like Channel 5 with Andrew Callahan yeah. or like Tyler Oliveira. Yeah in the coming future and uh, yeah man uh, so uh, this is uh, apparently this is uh, New York City's uh, New York City and uh, US history biggest uh, corruption scandal yeah isn't that crazy and uh, I think after this clip it's gonna be eight minutes and uh, most of the content is uh, mine um, shout out to uh, ABC7 um, New, uh, AB7 New York City uh, for this video. Uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Don't forget to smash the like, subscribe, ring the bell.